I mean, yeah, probably. So you probably want to know how. Well, first, we'll have to find some terms so we know what we're working with. We'll find out how many titans are in the rumbling by finding the perimeter of all the walls of paradise. Luckily, in the first episode, we already have the information to determine the perimeter of all the three walls. We know that between Wall Maria and Rose is 100 kilometers. There's a distance of 130 kilometers between the walls Rose and Sina, and then 250 kilometers to the center of Wall Sina. This gives us three circles corresponding to the three walls. Thus, Wall Sina has a radius of 250 kilometers, while Rose has a radius of 380 kilometers, and Wall Maria has a radius of 480 kilometers. Then, we can find the length of these walls by finding their circumference. We can find their circumference by using the formula c equals 2 pi r. Plugging in our radii for each of the walls shows that Wall Sina has a length of 1,570 kilometers, Wall Rose has a length of 2,386 kilometers, and Wall Maria has a length of 3,014 kilometers. Looking back at the diagram, there are other districts that extrude from the walls. To find their lengths, we can do the same thing we did for the walls. The diagram shows that the districts of Walsina have a radius that's roughly two-fifths of the distance between Walrose and Walsina, so a radius of around 50 kilometers. The districts for Walrose and Maria are about the same length in the diagram, and if they're about one-half the distance between Wal Maria and Rose, they have a radius of 50 kilometers each. By finding the length of a district with a radius of 50 kilometers and then dividing it by two, we can find the length of that district. By plugging it back into our formula, we find that a single district has a length of about 160 kilometers. Multiplying by the 12 districts, the total combined length of all the districts is around 1,920 kilometers. Adding up all the lengths of the walls and districts gives us a length of around 8,890 kilometers. For reference, this length is a little less than one and a half times the radius of the Earth. With this length, we can now find what we're really looking for, the number of titans in the rumbling. So if wall titans are around 50 meters tall, which is the height of the walls, then their width is around one third that length, so about 17 meters wide. If all the titans in the walls are standing right next to each other without any major gaps, then we can divide the width of a colossal titan by the length of the walls to find the total amount of wall titans uh, in the wall. <laughs> After dividing the length of the wall by the length of the colossal titan, we find that there are around 522,941 colossal titans in the walls. Now, before moving on, let's actually find out how big that really is, because I could say any big number, but it doesn't really mean anything if it can't be tied to real life. So, let's assume a colossal titan to be a circular cylinder, similar to this assumption made on a penguin. By assuming a colossal titan to be a circular cylinder, the radius of this titan is around 8.5 meters, as we found the width of the titan prior. The radius is important because we can use it to find the 2D area the titan takes up on the ground. The area can be found by using the formula for the area of a circle, so area equals pi r squared. Thus, a single colossal titan takes up an area of about 227 meters squared. We can multiply the area a single colossal titan takes up by all the colossal titans in the rumbling, and after multiplying the two numbers, we find an area of around 118,637,010 meters squared, which is around 118,637 kilometers squared. This is right around the area of New York State. So what that means is while the rumbling moves, it tramples an area the size of New York State. For my American viewers, the rumbling tramples an area of around 22,384,339.6 football fields while it moves. Now, coming back to how you would stop the rumbling, the answer would have to lie in nuclear warfare. So how much damage would a nuke do to the rumbling? Well, the largest bomb ever dropped, the SAR bomb, instantly destroyed everything in a radius of around 30 kilometers. Thus, the area destroyed by this bomb would be around 2,826 kilometers squared. By dividing this by the area of the rumbling, it would take only about uh, 42 SAR bombs to destroy the rumbling. Luckily, for the entire world, there's around 13,000 nuclear bombs that can do the job. Isn't that fantastic? However, it's probably unlikely that the rumbling walks in a ball the size of New York State to destroy the world, so let's find out what the rumbling actually looks like from afar. When the Titans landed on the continent of Marley, it took them just four days to decimate all of the north part of the continent and cause significant destruction to the southern part of the continent as well as neighboring countries. So before anything, let's find the shape the rumbling walks in and the speed it goes as well. 
Now, the speed of the rumbling is an easy one, since we can assume it. The show stated that it moves faster than a galloping horse, so around 45 kilometers an hour on the low end. Then the size from the northern part of the continent of Marley to the south of the continent can be found by looking at the map and seeing how many Paradise Islands fit into it. The width of the island of Paradise is around 2,000 kilometers, since the walls take up about half of the island, and the wall Maria has a diameter of 980 kilometers. By placing these islands on their side and adding them up to the end of the continent, we'll see that the continent of Marley spans about 6.5 Paradise Islands in length, or around 13,000 kilometers. The north end of the continent also spans about 2.5 Paradise Islands in width, or around 5,000 kilometers. Since we assume the rumbling to be traveling at around 45 kilometers an hour, if we multiply this by 96 hours, which is around 4 days, we see that the rumbling should only cover about 4,000 kilometers. That doesn't make sense, however, since we know that the rumbling reaches up to the south end of the continent. Well, we can reconcile this by remembering that the rumbling doesn't travel as a solid ball the size of New York State, and is closer to a line. Remember, the rumbling has a total length of around 8,890 kilometers if all the titans are stacked right next to each other as a line. Since the rumbling doesn't reach the south end of the continent until the fourth day, we'll place our line for the rumbling at around 4,000 kilometers away from the north tip. Since this would be the minimum amount that the rumbling would have to travel to reach to the north end of the continent, and thus it would have to start 4,000 kilometers away from the north. This allows some titans of the rumbling to trample up to the north end of the continent, and other titans to stay in the back and trample the south end. So, from this, we can guess that the rumbling does travel as a slanted line before it reaches the continent of Marley, then splits into different segments of rumbling, meaning multiple rumblings happening all at the same time. From this, we can safely say as a lowball estimate that the rumbling has a total length of 8,000 kilometers at any time. From this, if we try to see how many nukes it would take to destroy the rumbling, it would come out to about 270. So, still nothing compared to 13,000. So, is hope really done? Is it really impossible for the rumbling to beat today's world? Well, in all honesty, yes, unless. Well, it would depend on how to classify a win. A nuclear win would mean the entire world is destroyed, so the rumbling still wins. In a nucleus effort, the world would be unlikely to destroy the titans, simply due to the titan's speed and ability to reach anywhere in the world. And say Aaron knew about the nukes, nothing is stopping him from starting the rumbling across the ocean at the shore of a nuclear country. All this will leave countries unable to nuke their allies or nuke themselves, leaving the rumbling in a position to destroy the world and keep moving forward. Furthermore, if it's possible for the rumbling to create as many titans as it wants, the titan cap in the rumbling from the walls doesn't really matter, and the world would need infinite nukes to defeat infinite titans. And that's not possible. Even further, in a world where much of the Earth descended from Eldians, nothing's stopping Eren from manipulating the Eldian bodies themselves to just instantly destroy the world. So it is probable that the world can't destroy the rumbling, but it's also probable that it can. It has the firepower, it's just a question of how far the world is willing to go, and if they're ready to lose it.